Starting October 1st, it will be illegal to text while driving in the state of Florida. Sheriff Rick Ramsey is joining me this morning. He has some more information on the new law for us today. Sheriff Ramsey, thank you for being back here. As I always tell you, I appreciate you being here. It's always a good time. But yes, a new law is coming out October 1, which is an um, anti-texting while driving law. This law has been pushed in the past by the, particularly the uh, Florida Sheriff's Association, who's tried to push for it after seeing over a period of time more accidents, more fatalities, more injuries, which were directly linked to uh, texting while driving. And some studies have shown that it's in fact uh, more dangerous to text and drive versus drinking and driving. And we know how dangerous drinking and driving is, so it became a big issue over a period of time. And they were attributing, I think, like 17% of all the car crashes to um, texting while driving. Wow. which we can all understand. You know, most people probably text and drive in reality, and they can know that while they're texting, they take their eyes off the road, and they either come in an oncoming lane or go off the shoulder, overcorrect, and overcompensate. We've seen stories in the um, news about bus drivers texting and driving and, and going over a cliff or crashing head-on with vehicles and killing large amounts of people. So it, it's really important, you know, for public safety. Yeah. While it may be an inconvenience for some people, but the uh, pros and cons and the weight of uh, public safety clearly outweighs the need to uh, text while I drive. We tell people if you're going to want to text, just pull off the road. Mm -hmm. But obviously everybody's in a hurry. you got to get mm -hmm. there right away. Right. Even sheriff's office patrol cars, we have in-car computers. Well, we don't let our officers use the computer while driving. Mm -hmm. We have what's called a lid down policy, which says when your car is in motion, the computer lid has to be down. Because we don't have any possibility of our officers um, trying to run a tag, trying to in-car another car, trying to read stuff coming through the computer. We tell them, pull over and do your work. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's so dangerous. And we ourselves initially allowed officers to use the keyboard while driving, and we ourselves saw an increase in rear-end collisions. Officers took their eyes off the road, were putting in a tag or just running something, looked up, all of a sudden, bam! And there was an accident. So, mm -hmm. it, it, It's sorry. a scary thing. Well, it is. You know, it's scary because, um, number one, the loss of life. Mm -hmm. Number two, the um, pain, suffering, injuries arise out of it. Number three is the uh, property damage insurance, which all insurance rates go up. You know, the um, response from law enforcement, emergency medical services that deal with things. It's a ripple effect which has so much um, negativity out of it and nothing good out of it. Mm -hmm. In fact, someone gets to send a text message. Right, right. So, so, it's, so it can be avoided, and this goes into effect October 1st. What is the fine for texting while driving, Sheriff? Well, well it does go into effect October 1st, and, you know, um, we fall back to um, how important it is because this comes down to life or death. And this is what's called a secondary violation, which means the officers have to have a primary reason to stop you, which makes it a little more difficult for law enforcement. And we hope down the road that the maybe will become a primary violation. Like at one time when seatbelts came out, they were a secondary violation initially, which means we had to have another reason, speeding, to stop you, then we could cite for that. Now legislation has changed, as we know, uh, seatbelts to be a primary violation. So if I see you're not wearing a seatbelt, I could stop you and take direct action. Mm -hmm. So, but right for now, at least it's one step closer, we have to have another reason to stop you, whether it be brake light, tail light, some other driving violation, speeding, tailgating, passing, and have seen the you um, texting while driving. Then while we've got you stopped for the primary, we can take care and either warn, cite, or deal with the texting while driving. But what we're really working on now is, just like here with you today, is positive education. Most people, we think and hope, will follow the laws, rules, and regulations. They know it's a violation law. We hope they're going to put down their phone. We tried to educate about how dangerous it is to put these numbers about 17% of car crashes are here, you know, about um, how it's more dangerous to drive and text than drinking and driving. I think uh, the stats show, as an average, when you're texting, your eyes are off the road for, I think, 15 seconds. We imagine driving a car for 15 seconds, closing your eyes. If you think about it that way, that's pretty scary. Mm -hmm. So, Absolutely. you know, it's a right move forward to try to uh, protect uh, life, limb, and property and mm -hmm. help people. You know, so that's our, um, I think it's a good law. I support it. I'm happy for it. Sheriff Ramsey, the Sheriff's Office is so actively involved in the community. And the last time you were on, you talked about some of the projects you were working on. What do you have coming up for this fall? Well, we are very active. You know, that's been one of my primary goals of this uh, agency and my regime is to, um, be seen as a leader in our community, to be active, to be part of everything, to be part of um, change for the positive. So you do see us in all the rotaries, the chambers, the uh, various groups uh, throughout the county, or, or you know, MARC, Children's Shelter, Guidance Care Center, 
Uh, we're on almost every board there is, and we want to be there to um, do good stuff, to be approachable to people to know what's going on in our communities. But uh, what's been particularly important to us is our quality of life work, working with our quality of uh, life teams, our quality of life workers, partnerships in the community, and doing our community cleanups, which have a direct correlation to crime. Um, so that's been kind of important. We've done over 30 of these so far. I've got one coming up this Thursday in Marathon at Cocoa Plum Beach. It's a uh, public beach that we're going to work to make it uh, beautified, cleaner, safer, better. And uh, we'll have staff out from the Sheriff's Office, the public, uh, City of Marathon, Public Works, uh, inmate labor. So we welcome anybody who wants to come out 8 o'clock at Cocoa Plum Beach to do good stuff for our community. We want to make it a better, safer place for today and for the kids of tomorrow. So. We just came to be focusing on that. You know, there's, uh, we had talked about in the past a broken windows theory, which is a theory about the decay of a community based on uh, letting neighborhoods fall apart by one broken window, which turns into more broken windows, you know, weeds growing up, graffiti starting. If we don't put a stop to it, if we don't attack it right away, it'll mount, it'll mount, it'll mount, and it will take over a community, and you'll see a total collapse of that community. You'll see the uh, buy-in in the community deteriorate. You'll see the good people living there move out. A whole new element move in. And with that will be a, a rise in crime. And nothing good comes out of that. So our focus is um, as a crime prevention measure, uh, community partnership, ability to make it cleaner, better, nicer for everyone to enjoy that day, including our tourists who we want to come back and say good things about the county and the city. So it's a, it's a large-scale operation, which is more than just picking up trash. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why, and there's direct correlation to public safety. Absolutely. Well, you guys do a good job at keeping the crime rate down and, and the public and community happy. So We're lucky. In the last 20 years, crime in Monroe County has gone down more than 50%. We've mm -hmm. seen it continue to come down by a combination of hard work of the men and women in the Sheriff's Office, but also by a combination of the partnership with our public and our communities to work with us to help combat crime. Wonderful. Well, Sheriff, I look forward to having you again on very soon in the future. So thank you for thank being you. with pleasure. me today. My pleasure. Thank <laughs> you. All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. There's much more to come. Stay with me.